Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to write and graph inequalities. We've already talked about writing inequalities in class, so today we're going to mostly focus on uh, graphing. So first, how do we graph? We start with less than. So if you have an inequality where your variable is less than some number, you're going to use an open circle and you're going to shade to the left. We use the open circle because we know that our value cannot actually be that number, but we have to show people where we're starting at because it could be the number right next to it. So we use the open circle to show that we're starting there, but not including that number. So open circle, shading to the left for less than. You can always remember left is less. So if you got less than, shade to the left. And you have to be careful, you gotta remember that it can look like x is less than 7 or you could have it written like this. Whenever you're reading inequalities you start with where your variable is. You look at where your variable is and then you decide if it's a less than or a greater than sign. So our next one, greater than. So if you've got an inequality where it's your variable is greater than some number you're gonna start again with your open circle because we're just starting at that value, not including it. And you're going to shade to the right because all numbers greater than it are going to be to the right on the number line. Now we move on to less than or equal to. Less than or equal to, you're going to use a closed circle. We use the closed circle because this time we can't include that value because of the equal to. And again, closed circle, shade to the left because the left is less. And then finally with our graphing we got greater than or equal to. Same thing as greater than except this time we're using a closed circle because it's got the or equal to part. So we're going to move on to our examples. You have a note sheet that you're going to be using and I will do five examples with you. The other five that will be for you to try on your own. So we'll start with our first one. you ride your bike more than two miles. So we've got to write our uh, inequality here. So we look and we see riding the bike more than two miles. So we don't know exactly how much it is. Our variable, we'll just call it x. And more than means greater than, and it's two. So we'll go on our number line. My suggestion to you whenever we're doing our problems in class, just start in the middle of your number line. Whatever number you have in your inequality, just write that there. Two. And then you just label. Numbers greater than two. Three, four, five. Number less than two, this way. One, zero, negative one. X is greater than two. So we're going to have an open circle on two. And greater than, we're going to shade all values to the right. And I'm going to use a different color so you can see that. So that means that x could be uh, 3, 4, 5. It could even be 2.5 as long as it's greater than 2. All right, next one. We got the temperature is 48 degrees or less. So we'll call our variable x. I'm just going to call them all x just for simplicity. The temperature is 48 degrees or less. So that means our temperature has got to be 48 or under that. So x is less than or equal to 48. Less than or equal to. So now we're going to go, again, just start in the middle. It doesn't have to be complicated. And then fill in your number line on either side. So we got 49, 50, 51, 47, 46, 45. So on 48, we're going to put a closed circle there because it's or equal to. It could be 48. And x is less than 48. So we look at any numbers that are uh, less than or equal to 48. So we look at any numbers that are under 48. And that's going to be to the left there. So it's less than shade to the left. OK, 
okay? You spend at least two hours studying on Monday. So at least, we remember that's a greater than or equal to. So at least two hours, X is gonna be greater than or equal to two. Because that means you can spend two hours, two and a quarter hours, three hours, however long. So again, two, just go here in the middle. Fill in our number line. Okay, and we wouldn't go past zero technically on our number line because could you study for negative hours? No. So X is greater than or equal to two. Uh, it's an or equal to, so close circle. And greater than, we shade to the right. Okay. So X is greater than or equal to two. Now we've got our fourth example here. Everyone in sixth grade is 11 years or older. So that means they're 11, 11 and a half, 12. X is greater than or equal to, because they could be equal to 11. So X is greater than or equal to 11. And we'll fill in here. Here's 11. We got 12, 13, 14, 10, 9, 8. And it's a greater than or equal to, so we're going to put a closed circle. And greater than, we want all the numbers that are greater than or equal to 11, so that's to the right. Shade into the right. Okay. And then our last example I'm going to do with you. Marlon can throw the football up to 60 yards. So that means the highest amount of yards he can throw is 60. So remember, up to. That means that it's going to be less than or equal to that number. So you got x is less than or equal to 60. And now we'll look here. Less than or equal to. We got 60 right there. It's going to be a closed circle. And we're going to fill in all of our numbers here. So 61, 62, 63, this way, got 59, 58, 57. So he could throw the football up to 60 yards, meaning this is the most he can throw it. Could he throw it 59 yards? Sure. Could he throw it 58? Yeah. 57? Yes. So all the way down to the left. So less than we shade to the left. All right. Now. I've done five examples with you, showing you how to graph them and write them. Now I'm going to leave you all to do the last five examples from that note page. And that's what you're going to show me when you come into class. See you tomorrow.